Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has not cut her nails for over a year now. She feels bad that she let her nails become like this, but we had a lot of fun talking about her art and her family. She's very straightforward and extremely funny. Let's see how I can help her. Okay, we have Jody here, right? How are you doing? You can talk I'm, to me. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm You're happy? happy? I'm finally here. Okay, I'm going to raise you up a little bit, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can see this one. You haven't had these cut how long now? At least a year. At least a year, huh? I would say nine months, a yeah. year. Looks like I'm put, I'm put a good judge of how long. I think it's about a year. Now, why does one foot grow more than the other foot? That's a very good question. Because this foot, they've not been cut. You can see the difference in length. Yeah, that one really grew a lot. Um, a lot of time, it's just circulation. Oh. Yeah, especially one side, you know. Did you have any problem with uh, this side? Because the other side grew a lot. Well, I did break my ankle, but that was like 40 years ago. On this side? I'm... Left side? Probably. Really? Any problem with your knee or anything? Yeah, I had my this knee done. Which side? The right side? Yes. Really? But that's it's the one that grew fake, more. Yeah, it's a fake knee. Oh, you have a fake knee. <laughs> well, I say bionic knee. Yeah. But that was very painful. They want to do this one, but... Oh, you got scared, huh? I don't huh? know, man. Yes. It was terrible. Really? Yeah. Some people get it and they don't have any pain. Ugh. That's what I was... So I didn't even bring clothes for the next day. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, I'll be walking out of here like a oh, big really? shot. That, oh, no. That didn't happen, huh? No. Was it a like complicated case? Like, I guess I'm basically filled with arthritis. I see. So he did say he cut out a lot of arthritis when he did it. But, uh. but look, at like I get gout because look at my thumbs. They're all messed up. Oh, you have gout. That's not common for women, for women to have gout. I know, and I don't, I don't drink. I don't eat seafood. Mm -hmm. There's all these. No, nope, I didn't do any of them. Yeah, the the food is not not the most, the, not the biggest problem. No. Well, it's it's the acidity of your body. I think we just inherit so much. I know my mom yeah. was riddled with arthritis. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Damn, th I think I got it. Yeah, there's definitely a a, a genetic factor there. Because I've never smoked. I've never drank. Yeah. I never did drugs. Mm -hmm. And I basically shopped and chased them in. That was about all I did. Well, that could be the problem. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> now, you're, now you're telling the truth. There you go. That's what I tell people. I said to young people, I say, get more better habits mm -hmm. than chasing men, mm -hmm. shopping, and eating out. Well, you don't look like you chase men. look like the men chased you. Well. Come on, be I truthful. Did, I did have my day. Yeah, that's what and I'm saying. I can, I can tell. I can tell. Try to save ten dollars a week. Uh -huh. not, if I would have just saved a little money, I, mm -hmm. I'd be. I'm all right now. I mean, at least own a house. But why didn't I save a little money? Right. Well, we we just never know. When we're younger, we don't know, right? I do tell young people though, like this one. I say just. Save money. Ten dollars a ten dollars a paycheck won't mm -hmm. kill you. Oh. What kind of what kind of work did you do? I did display work. I like dressed windows. Oh really? Like mannequins. Really? And You're like an artist. Yes. Wow. I still do art. I still make cards. And oh really? Sell them. I got them in like three different places. Oh really? For fun. I I enjoy doing it. Oh. I can tell you look like an artist, huh? Well, ah. I've, I've always been in the antique business. Oh, really? Yeah. You still have a lot of stuff? Yeah. My house was on HGTV um, two times. Really? Yeah. Your house is famous. Well, it, way back then it was on a show called, oh God, now I can't think of the name. What was the name uh -huh. of the show? Like an antique show? Uh, nope. It was like just for crazy. Um, really? <laughs> what do you mean for crazy? I can't think of the name. Um, this is a little unique that's looking. That's the weird thing. That's Does bad. this one hurt? No. It's going sideways. Yeah. 
and I've tried to cut it, mm -hmm. but I didn't have the tools either. Yeah. Um, but did you did you ever injure this nail? That's the nail that had the ingrown toenail about 15 years ago. Oh, and then that's what why I never went to anybody because I'm so petrified. I went to this lady for like five years. Everything was fine, mm -hmm. and then I took my dad. He was sick, so I took him to the gambling because he like he wanted to go. And then I was trying to kill some hours, so I said, I'm just going into this this manicure, a uh, pedicure, and mm. she screwed my nail up. Oh, really? And after that, it was... How? How do you, how do you screw it up? What do you mean screw it up? I, she must have... Why do people get in grown toenails? Oh, they cut it too much. Too much or cut yeah. it wrong, and oh, it was terrible. And then you started getting ingrown nails? Yeah. And did did I, somebody do, like, surgery on this thing? Or? No. But I went and started going to this, the mannequin, the pedicurist, and she kind of took care of it, and it kind of was good. But then mm -hmm. it started with this. I don't know. Hmm. Well, so, so, something happened to this nail. Some, yeah, somebody it's messed up. Somebody messed with it. Look how pretty your hair is. Not a gray, nothing. Look I know, huh? Isn't that amazing? Oh, jeez. But you're not talking about me, though. <laughs> you don't have much gray. I mean, you look. Your skin looks beautiful. Oh, thank you. I try. I take a lot of supplements. I just uh, started to maybe. I had a good friend of mine um, work for GMC. What's the vitamins? Yeah, store? GMC. And General I, Nutrition Store. Yeah, I said, could you just get me like six things that will make me feel better uh -huh. and i've been taking them like two months i do feel a little better oh really yeah. oh what are you taking i don't know <laughs> wow i don't know i just i've been just... taking supplements for almost 40 years oh my god see yeah i was uh i was bodybuilding when i was younger so oh. i used to take a lot of supplements and then from there i studied a lot about supplements because i was very interested in it and i've been taking and then people tell me all the time, I said, oh, you must be all the stuff you take every day. I kinda... basically wanted them to give me stuff for the arthritis. Mm -hmm. But it does seem to help a little bit. Yeah, well, arthritis and everything else, you, you, need, you need some really good things to rebuild your body, you see. You need like a collagen. You know what collagen is? Mm -hmm. Collagen is like a brick of your house. It's what builds your builds the structures of your cells, your your bones and joints and you know tendons and ligaments and all of those. The so collagen is very important. So you have to take collagen and then that makes your skin shiny, you see? Yeah, I was gonna say your hands look beautiful. I saw your hands when you first came in. Really? Wow, yeah, you were like checking me out. I was checking you out. Wow. You know, I don't do surgeries anymore, but when I used to do surgeries, people would literally come in and say, they look at my hands, go, oh, you got nice hands. Go ahead and do my surgery. Oh, yeah. The, without, even, without even asking. Well, you know, as you get older, too, because look at my hands. They're just, of course, I've never taken care of my hands. My mm -hmm. sister is only a year younger than me. She's got great hands, but she uses gloves, and she's, really? you know, where I'm an artist. Like, ah, give me some paint. I don't <laughs> care. Give me some paint thinner. I yeah. don't care. You are rough with your... I was, yeah, see, I just... Th that, that is your tool right there. You don't take, you just don't think it's ever going to happen to you. Yeah. You know, you don't think you're going to get old. Yeah. So what are you, you're you, you, you painter too? You paint or what, what else you do? No, mostly just paper art, like... Um, oh, I you, you make stuff. And, oh, yeah. really? Wow. So it's pretty thick. Look I'm going to grind this down, okay? I'm going to grind this down okay. nice because I can't cut anymore because I may hurt you. And I don't want to hurt no, you today. Should I just start coming in every three months? or? Yeah, usually every two months. Two months. Okay. Yeah, you can come even, some people come in even earlier. It depends on how well you do now. Let's see how you do, and then we can go. Like, well, I took some brochures. I want to send them to my friends. I think, I think my friend might be coming here. I don't know. Yeah, I've been, I've been here a long time, so a lot of patients heard about us. And then um, you, most people get it cut every couple months or so. That's minimal, but some people want to come earlier, like sooner, like every month. Some people depends on you know how, how they want to keep up with it, you know. So, but we'll figure it out, whatever convenient for you. It's not hurting right now, right? No. Okay. And then I'm gonna grind it really nicely, so all the nails are gonna look nice, and so you're gonna enjoy your nails again. 
I'm so used to just putting socks over them. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but they're so long. How do you put the socks on? Does it, don't they get in the way? The socks don't seem to bother me at all. Oh, really? No. Ah, they can kind of get in the way. You better wear some goggles in here. Some of those nails hit your eyeballs. I know, right? Yeah, it, it's a very hazardous job that I have here. <laughs> Very, it's a very Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word artist in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Very dangerous job, you see. Mm -hmm. The nails start flying. <laughs> oh my God, Get a little bit closer. I think I should start soaking. You know, I'm not. I mean, I just my feet are always in socks. Is it best to let them air out a little bit? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these samples and then send yeah. it to the laboratory. If you have fungus, you have to start taking care of it. You have okay. to keep it dry. Yeah. There's a whole ways. I'm gonna give you some videos for you to watch. So you know exactly how to take care of it. I it's don't very... know if I know how to do videos. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, 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 uh, I don't have, I don't even need to sell things. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Oh, how, how do people call you? I have my home phone. Oh, home phone, really? Oh, okay. Uh, you know, any family members may be able to... Well, how do you do it? Would you send it to, if I had a phone, you'd put it on my phone? No, no, you, you kind of scan over with your camera. And then it it, it it comes up, you know. So I can give you the paper and then you can just have yeah, somebody scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very easy to do. I'll say I'll come back in a month and we can see what the sun is saying. Maybe I'll have to let my feet look at some sun or something. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a way to take care of this properly. Then, then it, it'll help you a lot. So they won't be as thick and you know we can take care of it well for you okay I'll, 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 I'll. and it's on the paper too okay. you can you can you can read about it okay. there's a video that a lot of people want to watch it but uh, i have a written section where you can read about how to take care of it how to soak it how to dry it how to how to you know sunbathe it you need to sunbathe your nail because sunbathing kills all the fungus you see Yeah. You see, I'm getting this nail down. I know, it's so excited. It didn't hurt or anything. No. It couldn't hurt. No, it's just like Jennifer was doing art today. And he was like, oh, I'm afraid. It's gonna hurt. Oh, really? You're dreading to see me. I know. Like, yeah. I'm not dreading to see me. Yeah, once, once you come in, you feel pretty comfortable. And then we're gonna make it. I told you, I promised you, I'm gonna make your nail look nice. Right? That's like the doctor that said he did. Well, I just think I have to do it. Dr. Fusel? Yeah. Um, Dr. Fusel. I'm gonna keep you alive, baby, so you're 95. Oh, really? That's a real thing. Wow. That's a. That's a good goal. Why 95? Why don't you go to 100? I think because my dad died at 93. Oh, really? I said, oh, I'm not going to live as long as him. Why not? I don't know. Because I'm not as healthy as my dad was. Was he healthy? I guess he was pretty well. Really? What was it? He did everything wrong. He was Mexican. Uh-huh. And he was a womanizer. And he drank. Oh, you drank too? Yeah. And did he live up to 95? Yeah. Wow. I always drank too. Oh, just beer. Okay, he likes beer. Mm -hmm. Did he have gout? No. He didn't have gout. But you know what? This older generation, my mom and my dad, they never said you know. Yeah. Well, they were too busy. They they were busy. They were raising kids and they were living. Yeah, I mean, I'd go, Dad, are you sure? And, oh, I'm all right, me, huh? Don't worry, I'm fine. And I'd be like, oh, Dad. Yeah, they were tough. Well, my mom would see what she did with arthritis. Oh, the other things, huh? She couldn't, like, walk there anywhere, and I looked back, and she died at 69. Oh, really? Oh, that's young. 
Really? He died a smelling on my Oh, really? But she was tough. Right? Yeah. Well, back then, you know, you complain nobody would listen anyway. So why bother, right? What did you say? I know, but I was 42 when she died, and I do look back at my kids. If you think I would have, I don't know. It's better for her, or even though I was a good daughter, but uh -huh. it's better. Oh. Uh -huh. But you know, you can't do better than what you know better. Oh. Uh -huh. So your dad recently passed? Yes, I did. No, she died in 19. Oh, really? Wow. Oh. So he lived really long, yeah, wasn't he? Was good yeah, he was really good. Wow. Oh. Well, oh, you got you got good genes. Well, it's kind of good. Half the Mexican side is good. Mexican side is good. What was your mom? Um, actually, we had a DNA. Testing and, done? Yeah. I, I always thought I was Irish German because he was blonde too wide. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. And no, he's Scandinavian. Oh, is that right? Oh. 26% Scandinavian. Oh, really? No, well, I guess we just never know. You know, and I hate when people say, oh, I'm positive. I know I'm 100% Irish. I go, you don't know who was screwing who. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you don't really know. Yeah, we, we don't know. I guess we never know. Are your parents still here? No, no, they, they live in, well, my dad passed uh -huh. uh, a few years ago, and then my mom's still in uh, Guam. And how old was your dad? My dad was 86 when he passed. That's 86. Yeah, That's and, and then uh, my mom is 85 right now. She's doing really well. Uh, in fact, uh, she's, she's in really good shape. She has and a little touch of... You brothers and sisters? You no, know, just two sisters. Um, but my mom's in really good health. She's uh, she's in good shape. Uh, yeah. She just came over about a month ago. Stayed with us for two months. I mean, two two weeks. But she's got a little touch of dementia, you know. But other than that, other than her asking us same question thirty times, everything else is fine, you know. It's a terrible disease, isn't it? You just gotta have patience. Yeah. What can so. I do if I have patience? Uh huh. My oh, mom you do. got a little of that at the end. Uh -huh. My sister would get really mad. Like, you know, my mom would think I was her mom. Oh, really? And you'd go, you know, mom, you know, and I'd go, what? And you'd go, that's not your mom, that's Jody. Really? <laughs> and I said, what difference does it make? Does that make, yeah, right? Who cares? What do you, what do you get mad? There's no yeah. reason. There's not their, there's not their intention, right? Yeah, I thought she was kind of cute, I thought she was like, you know, yeah. 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 Yeah, Eight years old now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so, it's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, well, not not for my older sister who lives with her. I mean, nearby. She was telling us how difficult it is because, you know. It is because, because we also get, have to understand they can't even, if it gets really bad, you got to think they don't know how to go potty or, yeah, yeah. or you know how to eat. And, exactly. And that gets a little. Yeah. Scary. What do you think? Oh, my God. It looks beautiful. See? I knew you would say that word. Okay? Thank you, Jody, for allowing us to film you today. Thank you. I'll be back. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, since she let her nails grow this thick and long, she was very afraid that she would have a lot of pain having her nails cut. But she did just fine and was very happy that she came in at the end. So don't be afraid to come in and to take care of your problems. Now she'll come in more regularly to take care of her nails. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.